Boy bands Britpop and American grunge acts dominated the charts from the late 80s to the early 90s. The music scene offered little stimulation for adolescent girls around the world, until that is a British five-piece captured the imaginations of youngsters the world over. Back in 1993, a management company wished to break away from the norm placed an advert in the stage magazine that asked... Are you 18 to 23 with the ability to sing, dance? Are you streetwise, ambitious, outgoing and dedicated? From the hundreds of young wannabes who applied, five were eventually hand-picked and thrown together and given a modest house in Maidenhead in which to live. Victoria Adams, Melanie Brown, Melanie Chisholm, Jerry Halliwell and Michelle Stevenson collectively became known as Touch and they set about crafting their trade. Emma Bunton was later drafted in after Michelle Stevenson left the band while the group changed management and renamed themselves the Spice Girls. When they first burst into the public consciousness in 1996, few would have believed their first single, Wannabe, would have gone straight to number one, let alone launch the musical careers of five ladies who would go on to dominate pop music for so long. Given the affectionate monikers of posh, sporty, ginger, scary and baby, the five dominated headlines. And in a prime example of the shift from the old to the new guard, the girls even kept two former Take That members from the number one spot. What came next was the stuff of dreams. Worldwide domination alongside a movie release, the girls also became darlings of the advertising world, working contracts for the likes of Pepsi, as well as meeting world dignitaries such as Nelson Mandela. The girls were also granted meetings with royalty and few could get away with breaching royal protocol, except that is the Spice Girls. Mel B planted a huge kiss on the blushing Prince Charles's cheek while Jerry copied but went one further by pinching his bum. Victoria Beckham became the first Spice Girl to shatter millions of male fantasies around the world. She announced her engagement to rising premiership footballer David Beckham, perhaps a sign of the times ahead and the reality of a girl group growing up. But with the rise, there's the inevitable fall. Unhappy with the reported constraints being placed on them, the girls sacked their manager Simon Fuller, the man seen by many as the master behind their phenomenal success. And worse, more was to come. Rumours of frictions within the band continued and after two no-shows at a concert in Norway, it was announced that Jerry Halliwell was leaving the band, with Ginger giving her solicitor the task of briefing the media. Sadly, I would like to confirm that I have left the Spice Girls. This is because of differences between us. Her departure caused shares in their record label EMI to drop by 10 pence, a good example of the impact the girls had had. So five became four and the remaining members vowed to continue but things were seen to have changed and their initial energy had disappeared. Just months later, Posh and Scary both announced their pregnancies and a little over two years later, the girls had parted company after shifting nearly 55 million records, notching up 10 number one singles as well as influencing British and world culture with their empowerment of women and the use of the phrase girl power, a phrase that would make it into the Oxford English Dictionary. In the years following, all five launched their own musical and non musical projects to various success, but nothing quite captured the triumph they'd had together. But after numerous rumours, in June 2007, saw the five come together to announce an imminent world tour and CD and download releases. Girl Power was most definitely back.